My name is Joe Wiktorowicz, and welcome to Ally TV. Moving can be costly for anyone these days, and oftentimes homeowners cringe at the thought of having another set of expenses to worry about. But what if you knew some of the simple tips on how to reduce several of these costs? Wouldn't that take some of the stress of moving away? Well, today we're going to walk you through seven quick ways to do just this. Save money on your move. So let's begin. One of the first factors you need to consider before moving is whether you're going to do it yourself or hire a moving company. Either way, it's important to set up a budget that's relevant to the option you choose and weigh the costs of each. Once you've done this, keep in mind the following seven ways to reduce these moving costs. Number one, plan to move during moving industries off season. One of the busiest times of year for moving companies is during summer or holidays and on weekends. If you want to save yourself extra costs that companies charge during these busy times, it's best to plan a move during spring or fall time. Also, if possible, have the company move you during the week instead of the weekend. Sometimes rates are higher on the weekends than during the week. Number two, reduce the amount of items you pack. Since moving costs are dependent upon weight, it's best to go through each of your items and get rid of unnecessary clutter. The best way to do this is think of items you haven't used or worn in over a year and then hold a garage sale or offer some of the items to your friends. Number three, be flexible with movers on your pickup and delivery dates. Working with your company's time frame instead of just your own oftentimes can earn you a discount. If possible, give the movers three to five days to deliver your item and three to five days to pick them up. Number four, do your own packing. Although this will save you some money, it's still important to remember, however, that proper packing is crucial. If you decide not to use the professionals, be sure you at least know how to safely pack each of your items to ensure nothing gets broken during the actual move. Number five, be sure your new home is ready to be moved into on the day of your move. Without ensuring this, you could face storage and transit fee if the moving company needs to store your items before they're able to be placed into your new home. This fee may also result if you are unable to pay the agreed upon amount for your move at the agreed upon time. Number six, keep all your receipts. When tax time comes around, you may be able to deduct some of your allowable expenses from your income taxes. If you're unsure whether you qualify for any of these deductions or need tax forms for moving expenses, visit the IRS website or consult your local accountant. Number seven, ask about the costs associated with moving heavier or bulky items. Items such as boats, recreational vehicles, washing machines, dryers, etc., will cost extra to move. If you want to avoid these charges, look into the cost of renting a trailer and moving these items yourself. Now that you know seven easy ways to save costs on your move, it's time for you to put them to use. So let's get out there and start saving yourself some money. Thanks for watching. With Ally TV, I'm Joe Wiktorowicz, wishing you a safe and easy move.